What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Today is, well, bittersweet I guess. It doesn't bother me, but I know some of the family members have been attached to one of our pigs that are going in for bacon. Yeah, bittersweet. That's exactly it. So we are taking two of our Cooney Coonies in for the market and we're going to show the whole experience on well, how much meat we get and everything. So we're going to get them loaded up. All right, prepared yourself oh, to laugh. You forgot to tell them. Why do we need to bring them in right now? Because we, we probably should have brought them in a while ago, but why do we need to bring them in right now? We got a new addition. <laughs> we got a boar. So I don't want him to breed uh, tiny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so that's why we got to go and get her out of here. I, I think he's getting along well with them, though. <laughs> yeah. It's going so great. Let's, back let's up do this. I'm like, how far can we go? Pretty far, you're close on that side. Wait, no, that's fine, side. I can see. So mom's gonna have to stay on this side oh, or something. Oh, we're just doing this. that. We're not yeah, making the loop. Right we don't have there. to. No. Okay. We we're really able to get the trailer in here. So we're gonna be able to load them right up, I think. I think the hardest thing is going to be uh, <laughs> making sure just the ones come that we want to come. You hear those pigs. You want to put some way in the back so they go all the way back? I'm just thinking I'll I know, I'm trying to get a trail going. Everett, honey, you're not going, okay? You don't need to be upset, okay? You're not going. We're not you're, taking you're you. You're going to be glad that you didn't come. We're taking his ladies. Or his lady, Tiny. You think he's here. mad? Hold on to this. We're taking Tater Tot. You won't have another boy here. I like it. Hey, pick, 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 pick. So you gotta go on the other side because the pigs are gonna wanna push if they get out. You have to hold them and stay there. Yeah, pick, 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 pick. What? Call him, Evan. Come on. Yeah, pick, 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 pick. Come on, pick, 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 pick. Is that the right one? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, pick, pick, pick. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pick, 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 pick. I don't like that ledge. Here, here. Hey, pigs. Hey, pick, 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 pick. Not you, Bill. Tiny's following you. I think Tiny will be okay to get out. It's teeter tot. I don't know Come about. Good girl, Tiny. Oh, they're both coming. Come on. <laughs> yeah, they're both coming. Come on. Why don't you just pet her for a while? I think she'll like that. Tiny! You're big, big, big. You're big, big. Big, big. Big, big, big. Oh. Well, got him out of the fence. Oh, yeah, there you go. 
Evan, go grab that bowl, put it up front, dump it, and then grab the bowl. throwing a clip of you trying to load the feeder pigs. It, actually, that didn't go too rough, too badly either. Matt, there's three. Oh, yeah. Three. <laughs> How many did you load? <laughs> Matt says, then there was only two. Then there were only two? The, no, there are three. <laughs> two soon to be mamas, hopefully, and bad. Yeah. Now, the, we got pretty lucky. We brought in what we do to find a good butcher in our area, the one we went through last time, they unfortunately closed. So we found a new one and what we did is we actually drove to a couple of different ones and we bought their bacon. So then that tells me if we're going to like it or not. So that's how we judge where we're going through. And it happened to work out really good because this is their trailer and they're like, yeah, you guys can use it. They didn't blink an eye at it or nothing. So we're excited. So we're going to... Drop these girls and boys off and That's it. <laughs> get them back in a couple weeks for in our freezer. <laughs> we're getting low on meat, so we're excited for that. But I think uh, we'll buy some summer sausage and stuff when we're there too and try some of that out. Next thing, piglets. I know, I can't wait. But that's gonna Now that there's a boar, it's, an, it's a possibility. <laughs> Little bacon seeds. So much to do, you got so much to do before then. <laughs> pigs back so Can you see us it's so dark hello <laughs> I'll put a picture in it's two totes we're gonna go through and for now we're gonna we don't have time we're gonna what we want to do is rebag all this but we don't have time right now so we're just gonna put it in our freezer yeah so we're gonna unload this this it. is ribs ribs we have pork chops do we have like a Put a spot to stack all the pork chops. Wow, that's a lot of pork chops. I know, I'm excited. <laughs> look at, look at here. I'm not saying I don't like pork chops, but. Ground pork. <laughs> I got one pounders. They're so tiny. <laughs> well, it is pet <laughs> tiny. <laughs> Our pig's name was Tiny. Tiny and Tater Tot. We got the one pounders because they were charging the same price regardless of how big you full you packed them. So we'll one probably pounds. always pull out two. But one pounds is easier. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll grab the other tote. Sounds good. We noticed when we had them bagged in one and a half pounds, we pulled out two anyway. So then we were cooking three pounds. We don't always need that. This one's got the hands. This one's my favorite. We'll save the bacon for last because we want that on top. Yeah. <laughs> pork steak. Steak. Ground pork's in the bottom. We gotta dig for it. Let's use some of this other stuff up. Pork roast or huck. Pork roast. No. I don't think those are labeled, are they? Smoked ham. Oh, ham, smoked ham. We have had smoked ham in so long. Smoked ham. Smoked ham. That's so good. I'll fit right in the crock pot. She was smoked right. Smoked ham. Oh, there's a bacon. So I'll have to make a phone call. We're missing something. You guys know what we're missing? <sighs> all my fat and all my bones I wanted to save. I'll call him. You can do this. Yeah. 
Okay, we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt because we're trying a new butcher. They're fairly new. Our old one was fairly new too. Um, and then they closed. So, trying a new butcher. The bacon looks amazing. Everything we tried from them has been great. But I was very specific. I wanted to save my lard and specifically separate my leaf lard and my regular lard. And then I wanted to save bones for making broth. So, I'm, I'm a little bummed that that's not in here. And I have this fear, so we'll just see how it goes. There's a lot of bacon, though. I think there's 22 bacons between those two little pigs. Looks really good, though. All right, Matt called them. Good news, kind of. It was a long drive, so I guess we're going back. Because we they forgot some it. stuff. They do have it. So... That's awesome. Yeah, right before us, there was another customer and he said he moved half of our order over. So we only got, we didn't get the bones and the, everything. So he's like, nope, you're missing it. Okay. So Whew. we're gonna go and get it. All right. We'll get that. Hold, hold tight for part two. I'm glad we grabbed two tubs. It's not even frozen bacon. Whew. That'll Fresh go in the fridge. pepper bacon. Oh. We're having that for breakfast tomorrow. They perfected, this is the one perfected too now. Okay. <laughs> All right. So went back. They filled these tubs up, and they sent us with some bacon. The bags themselves aren't labeled, so do we need to get a sharpie and start labeling them? I figured just lay the box in there. Oh well, that one will work. The big ones won't. See how full that freezer Here, is. Take this. I this is lard. This. Grab this box on the bottom. Need this little one as You yeah. Just go. Bring it over there. I'm thinking it's that stuff on the bottom. You'll be able to tell when you open them. Well, this is a lot of lard, so it looks like regular lard. And the leaf lard is going to be, that's like what's between the... Oh, they left the little pieces of rib, everything in here. So good. Oh, this might be a leaf lard. Okay. Yep. No. That. This is regular lard. That's regular lard? Yeah, for sure. Because this is going to be what's on the inside. Right, yep. that they have to like cut out. Well, I asked them to keep it separate, not label it. <laughs> I still have chicken bones in here. We got to take care of too. Oh, yeah. Start up that roaster. Yeah, I'm no kidding. Um, yeah. Uh, let's start some of them around night. Yeah, so that one is leaf lard. For sure. This, this is, is this is regular lard. And we're going to have the most And the other one was back all the bones there was? Mm -hmm. hmm. You got to remember, we didn't get much for bones out of the this one and a half fit. pigs either. This isn't kind of fat. Then we'll have to put some in here. Yeah. I'm hoping I can get that in. And all we have left is this little box. Oh, I got it on my hands. Hey, um, I'm really in on you. Okay, I'll be in a minute. Um, Just stick one of the bags. I think there's in some there. room in the back. You can get out of the box. Yeah, I'm going to. I just oh. it's all greasy. I don't want to hold it more than I have to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're recording, bud. Why don't you wait in the kitchen for just a minute? So what's interesting is, since it was a new butcher, they said they're going to start saving lard. So that means that they don't typically, as of right now, yeah. and they had never heard of anybody asking for any bones from pork. So one that was thing, interesting. like we got <coughs> Cooney Cooney, and for those of you guys who don't know, Cooney Cooney was known for their red pork in a fattier pig. Mm -hmm. So you can see... It's like, it's really red. So I'm really yeah. excited to see what the pork chops stuff look like. When we bought the pork chops from that other place, they were really red. They looked like beef. So I'm excited. I I, you, gotta add a, you gotta add a picture at the end of it, at least what the pork chops look like. And we don't have any store pork to compare it to. No, but it's not gonna <laughs> be white like store. So. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'll put a picture at the end of because I'm going to try some tonight for supper. Was it worth it to go back and get the lard? Yeah. 
Absolutely. There's more lard than there yeah. is pork. That's when what's awesome. We render down the lard. Interesting. We use way less oils for sure. And we use it for baking, everything. That's the other reason why we wanted this pig is because their, their lard <clears throat> isn't a strong flavor of pork. Yeah, well, we so, haven't tried it yet, so we'll definitely yeah, we have to... We, had we didn't that, try the lard. We had Well, it had a big fat cap sure. on the pork chop, and I cut those off, yeah, and then and we they rendered that really down. Yeah, they were really tasty. <clears throat> but so. I'm interested to try that, and yeah, it means we're going to buy a lot less avocado and olive oil, which is what yeah. we're typically otherwise buying, or butter. Mm -hmm. you excited? Do you think it was a good... Money-wise, was it a good deal? Yeah. It, it comes out to be, uh, when I did the math, it was two... It was $200 less than what we did for the other ones. Oh, it was cheaper mm -hmm. than doing feeder pigs. Yeah, uh, less, it just takes less longer. Less meat, though? Uh, it, well, because Tiny was so small. But with Tiny, mm -hmm. the, with the two pigs we brought in, last year we got a pig, we split one. So we had a pig and a half. And I would say we have a little less than that. But we also had, she was pretty tiny. So. Tiny was tiny. <clears throat> Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited. We're going to hold two pigs, probably th two for sure for us every year, I would say. Yeah. We'll go through this and see how it goes. But means we got our chicken situated. Pork our situated. Our pork, hopefully soon situated. Working on the breeding right now. Yep. So. And then fence in the rest of the property and Sarah's going to get a cow. <laughs> Glad you got to see us again. Bye. <laughs>